everyone. Welcome back to Go Local Live. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for joining us this Tuesday afternoon here in downtown Providence. Brought you the latest with the stock market and the Federal Reserve with John Kosmarski and Efficient Capital Strategies. Also, Mike Stenhouse talking about a reduction in the remote sales tax as we talked politics. But now we're going to talk nonprofits and Bloody Marys. Rich Pazilla with the New England Hemophilia Association, thank you for Absolutely. coming back in. Thank you so much for having us. Kate. Hard to believe it was just about this time last year. It was the first Bloody Mary, Providence's best Bloody Mary competition to benefit New England Hemophilia Association and specifically families and youth for summer camp opportunities. Now it's year two. Yes. You've moved to a bigger venue. Last year was at the arcade. This year now at the Roger Williams Casino on April 13th. Let me tell, have you tell folks again how there's a bigger and I don't want to say better because last year's was great. Yeah. <laughs> but how it's going to be uh, this this coming April for the New England Team Affiliate. Sure, no, absolutely. But thanks, uh, thank you so much for having us on. So it's a second annual best uh, Bloody Mary competition here in the city of Providence. So last year we had nine bars, this year we have 13. Um, so uh, as Kate mentioned, the venue is larger. Um, we are partnering with the Parks Department to hold it at the Roger Williams Casino from 11 to two. We also have food trucks coming out this year. So your ticket includes $5 off any of your purchases at one of the three food trucks. All the food trucks are red. So it goes with the Did you cost. make to choose that on purpose? Yes. Yeah, yeah, those, those are <laughs> you all. have to be a red food truck. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, but it's in partnership with the Providence Food Truck Events, um, Rhode Island Food Fights, and Tito's Vodka. So it's a great event that really helps to raise awareness about a condition that's not often talked about, which is bleeding disorders. So hemophilia affects only about 100 people in Rhode Island, which is, you know, you look at the population, just over a million, and you have only 100 people. But other bleeding disorders like von Willebrand's can affect up to 1% of the population. So it, it, it does affect a, a good number, but oftentimes cancer and diabetes are so important, so talked about, but this really helps to raise awareness about those living with these rare, expensive, um, in some ways life-threatening conditions. And I know we had the opportunity to talk about it last time you were on, but for those folks who might not have seen, again, the proceeds from the Best Bloody Mary competition really go to helping um, uh, folks and their families um, with an opportunity to uh, address it in um, a summertime setting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So our biggest program is a family camp program where we bring kids and families are around all six states of New England, including New York, to New Hampshire, and where we teach kids the essence of independence. So for someone living with hemophilia, um, the most common treatment is IV infusions. So that means a child will have a port or a pick line, or will have to put a tourniquet on just like you get blood drawn out of the hospital and find their vein. So this is not easy. This is not a sub-Q injection like a diabetic. This is all, almost you're becoming a phlebotomist at age five, six, seven. So what this camp does, it's, it teaches children and their families how to become independent from their condition. So if a child is able to get a, a blood flow back, which means you're in the uh, vein, we have a big ceremony where we have a big stick award where one of our hemophilia dads make it into passage of rights. So in addition to that, there's archery and, and um, you know the waterfront and arts and crafts and all those other things that make summer camp so nostalgic for all of us. But in addition, it's the medical side of this that really helps. And we subsidize the majority of the cost of camp and this helps to put this important uh, program on together. So when you talk about making the move over to the Roger Williams Park Casino from the arcade last year and going from 9 to 13 bars, I have to imagine bars were chomping at the bit to be like, let us take part in this competition. Yeah, yeah no, it's been awesome working with the local bars here in the city of Providence. Um, we've learned a lot about Bloody Marys, and for those that maybe didn't get the connection, hemophilia, blood, Bloody Marys. Um, but it's been great to see the energy around the bars of saying, I want to come and support a cause, but I also want people to have a good time. So we sold out last year with 320 tickets, um, and we're anticipating to sell out again this year. And I think the thing for us internally is out of those 320 tickets, six were from our community. So what that demonstrated is that the general public either love Bloody Marys or they hate Bloody Marys. There's really no in-between is what I learned. And if you are an aficionado of a Bloody Mary, this is the event for you. I have to say, we went to it last year. A fun event, great atmosphere, people turning out again to support a good cause. We'll have that link again to all the bars because it's 13 bars. You'll have to, you'll have to check back in with Go Local Prop to see who is going to be taking part again on April 13th at the Roger Williams Park Casino. 
Anything else we need to go over that folks need to know about the fun day? Yeah, so I would just say buy your tickets early. Um, with the tickets anticipating on selling out, we will not be selling tickets at the door. Um, so buy your tickets early. Um, again, $5 of every ticket not only gets you a sampling the Bloody Marys and the garnish, um, it also gets you $5 off any of the food trucks that are there. There, there will be live music. There, uh, there, there will be games outside. We're going to have really cool t-shirts this year to sell um, uh, so that you can raise awareness outside of the event itself. Oh, very good. Um, and there will be raffles too. So all the bars are contributing gift cards and the local businesses so you can participate in helping to spread the cause even more. Okay, again, nine bars, 213. You talk about the garnishes. I mean, it's so known oh in like, the Bloody it's... Mary communities. I'm like, you see them, it's like a cheeseburger, piece of pizza, olives, but you know, you almost get a little appetizer right in oh my, itself totally just do. by the garnishes because there's that you know, sense of pride by the bars to say, like, here's our here's a little shtick, like, here's our angle. We might have some kimchi, or we might give it this little flavor. Absolutely. Um, so if you like Bloody Mary's, really consider coming out on April 13th. But as Rich said, buy your ticket early because there will be no tickets at the door. So for Providence's Best Bloody Mary competition to benefit the New England Hemophilia Association and families around the region, Rich Pizzillo, I appreciate Great. you taking Thank the you time so to much, come Kate. on in. Appreciate it. And thanks for tuning in for news, politics, and nonprofits and more. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, Laura Afonso will be back with food and drink here on Go Local Live. We look forward to seeing you 